This week, we went to visit an oyster mushroom farm here in Surin, Thailand. Now, you can buy mushrooms from the farm, but we were there to buy the mushroom blocks so that we could grow our own. I'll put a link to the Facebook page for the farm in the description below. So it was good to see the farm in operation. And here you can see the blocks that we'll be buying. And these are blocks that are already blooming. One of the reasons for buying blocks from this particular farm was that they use sawdust and not straw as a substrate. They have a steam oven for sterilization of the mushroom substrate and a mushroom block packing machine which gives a good tightly packed block. We purchased 125 blocks at 8 baht or 25 US cents per block. The next job was to make a house and some racks for the mushroom blocks. Now the farm makes its own steel racks but my welding skills are pretty rubbish so an alternative idea had to be found. We decided to use half inch UPVC pipe. We could buy most of the attachments that we needed off the shelf. Unfortunately, the five way connector was something I had to bodge up myself. We used 80% black shade cloth. We used grass matting to provide more shade on the top and sides of the mushroom house, but left the front and back clear to aid ventilation. The blocks take about three months to fully bloom, so we will start new blocks every month and have three batches all at different stages.
The misting system has its own tap and is attached to our garden watering system, which is powered by a solar well pump. 